How you doing, gang? This is Robert the Edge Power Sports. I uh, had a few questions about uh, spring rates and uh, cause and effect of uh, uh, wrong spring rates and how to adjust out for that. And even uh, what happens when you're trying to compensate with uh, uh, rebound and compression. So it's really crucial on a spring. Basically, if you consider the spring, all it does is it keeps the bike supported with the bike's weight and your weight. So it's almost like a, a new pillow. So you got to keep your head supported while you're sleeping. If you got a got a bad pillow, your head's going to sink down. Nothing's going to really work right. So everyone kind of gets a little lost in how to set their sag and what's going to happen if their sag's not not set properly. So let me give you an example, gang. Let's say uh, most of our bikes, uh, the standard uh, um, MX bike is basically uh, uh, standard weight rate is about 160 to 190 on the weight capacity for, for a pilot on the bike. That's gear and everything included. So what happens is, is if a rider comes in and, and a little over that tick on the scale, in order to get that ideal optimum sag in a, a, on the gas gases, the KTMs, the Husqvarna's, your ideal sag amount is about 100 to 105 millimeters of, of overall sag on the bike. And there's actually a little measuring tool we use. Uh, nice thing about uh, all these models of bike is there's actually a permanent sag mark on the opposite side of the fender that you can always measure from. If you don't have one of those measuring spots, uh, piece of electrical tape, uh, you can put a cut into it with a piece of uh, razor blade or something so that, that mark never moves on you. So ideally, you're gonna get that measurement, you're gonna set, uh, set your sag appropriately, but what happens on the bike is if you're too heavy for the, for the spring rate, you end up cranking that spring down so much and it's got so much pressure on it just to support you and the bike at that 100 to 105 millimeters of sag, well that spring's under so much tension that it's always gonna wanna launch you out of the seat. It doesn't matter how much you shut down your, your rebound to slow that down or try to soften the compression up, it's always gonna be under way too much tension. So it's really crucial you go with the proper spring rate on your bike, that's the, that's the starting point right there. Um, we're actually gonna delve into a bit more suspension on our next video, talk a little bit more how to adjust some of those uh, things in a little deeper method and uh, cause and effect on that. But uh, super crucial to get the spring rates properly, that way the bike's gonna work for you properly and it's gonna, not gonna wanna launch you out of the seat or it's not just gonna wanna be too saggy. So um, hopefully that uh, answers that question for you. And if you have any uh, more questions, definitely chime in uh, or give us a shout. Look forward to seeing you next time, thanks.